Hello friends, how you doing today? Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for joining me. I am so excited to share with you this finished recipe little binder journal. And so happy Saturday. I did want to share a couple things with you. I told you I would share with you some things I got for my birthday as I use them. Some little crafty goodies and I shared with you as I was making ephemera for this journal. Uh, the stickers that I had got for my birthday, little recipe cookbook related, kitchen related stickers. So another th couple things I got that were given to me by my family for my birthday were um, these pink guest checks. They are a very light pink and uh, they did get them on Amazon and it's something I wanted. And uh, so it was nice to see them in person because I didn't know you know what color exactly they were i don't know how they're going to show up on camera whether they're going to be pinker or not as pink as they are in person but they're a light pink and so they're really cute i had the green ones you know they're green here and these are the same as the green ones they're kind of card stocky and they have the lines on the front and the back so i've got some of those to share and i put one in here so that's why i'm showing them to you and i also used some of these paper clips they're little teardrop paper clips i've had the gold ones a little box of gold ones for quite a few years now and i haven't you know i'm just about at the end of them but I, they lasted me a really long time and so they got me these for my birthday and they're different colors i think they were called rainbow colors or something but there's like gold and pinks and greens and blues in here so I was like really thrilled to get these because I thought when I opened them I was like oh my goodness they're so much prettier in person than I you know thought they would be even looking at them online so that was that's a fun little goodie that I got for my birthday and I put a few of those in here or a couple at least so I'm going to show you this after the journal so stick around and I'll show you what this is all about. But right now, let's get started with a flip through of this little binder journal. So this is a little binder, you know, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, I'll link. I have all of this, uh, the videos on this uh, linked in my junk journal uh, playlist. So I will link that below, but um, in case you didn't see the other videos, but it's a little recipe card uh, binder card right here. It's called a recipe card collection that I found at the thrift store. There was nothing in it but some little plastic sleeves that you, you know, protect your recipe cards. And that was it. There was no like paper or anything in there. So in here. So you can see the spine is about what two inches. Here's the back. I like the, the red and the cherry theme it had on the cover. And if you remember when I brought it home, I showed you how uh this it you know it really was in perfect condition pretty much. I mean it looks like it's been you know, it's, it looks like it's been around for a little bit. It has a little bit of something here, but not anything that you probably, I don't even know if you can see it on video, but there's just a little something right there. Like, um, you know, something was run across it, you know, like, a I don't know, it's just been around, <laughs> you know, it's not straight from the store or anything from the thrift store. So it's been bumped around a little bit, but it's in really good condition, but the back is a little suede here, just so you know, um, but you can kind of see it there. It's a little suede, but there's nothing wrong with it. It's not, you know, not, not making it any less sturdy or anything. So anyway, let's get inside. Um, uh, this green and white uh, gingham was here. So I left it because I thought it was so cute. And I added a pocket here. And uh, last, when I showed you this pocket, I just had added this pocket that I made from the scrapbook paper that I was using in here. It's like cardstock, so it's pretty sturdy glued it down with Fabri-Tac and I added this ribbon. This is come like a uh, kind of like a gingham, red and white gingham ribbon or red and cream kind of. It gives me a homespun vibe that that kind of colors. But I did it because I wanted to reinforce. I was going to leave it without the ribbon, but I wanted to reinforce the edges here because I feel like uh, this being this being uh, this was here. And it's kind of glossy, so uh, I just didn't want, I just was trying to reinforce the pockets as make them as strong as possible because I couldn't sew through them. If I had my way, I would sew through them and make sure they were sturdy, but it's not like I could sew through this cover, so I did the best I could. But I would say don't pull on this or anything like that. I'd be afraid you would pull it right off or something. I mean, I can go like this 
and it's strong, but I wouldn't pull on it if you're putting things in, in, in and out. I'm just, I'm just a little paranoid about stuff like that. So I'm just telling you what I would do. So see, I mean, you can do, do put stuff in, in and out of it. I just wouldn't be stuffing it full. You know, just a couple of things is okay. So let's get on with it. That's enough of that. Uh, so this is a little uh, drilling card we made together out of it. This is one piece of scrapbook paper that looks like this and had the cherries. And we added these little pieces and that was on graph paper. And not graph, pa graph paper, but like a graph index card. So it's nice and sturdy. It's actually like two uh, layers of cardstock. And this is a recipe card I put in here. All my recipe cards I've gotten from thrift stores or some of them, a lot of them in Happy Mail actually. And uh, so, yeah, I love recipe cards, and this is why I like to put them in my journals for writing space. For writing, you can write, you could use this for a regular journal, like writing and adding pictures and things, mementos, or you could use it for recipes. So, um, and, you know, all your favorite recipes and, uh, you know, family, favorite recipes and family, uh, you know, dinner memories and things like that so the first page I made uh, I had I happened to have this cherry themed uh, scrapbook paper here and it went I was like amazed because it went so well with the cover doesn't it isn't it cool when things work out like that and then I had some of the other little pieces in that set that were stickers and things so I put this little cherry motif right here the sweet life and it has some cherries in the middle and then there's cherries on this side and I made a little side tuck here, and this is another little drilling card we made together, four by six. The back is a pink uh, index card. So we added the little word here, fabulous. Here's the pink S check I put in here, and this is a vintage plastic paper clip. On this page, this is with a large index card. Added some rickrack here. In the side, we have a little pocket. I added a little uh, something here to decorate. It says, this girl is on fire. <laughs> you know that song, right? You can, you can hear it in your head right now, right? <laughs> anyway, yeah, that song, or, um, you know, it could be kitchen related. You hope, hopefully she's on fire with her cooking, not actually on fire, right? <laughs> so here's a little recipe card that we decorated together. This one with a couple of stickers and that turned out cute. There's a little flower down here. You can write on the back. So a little recipe card. And this is a little tag we made together on Tag Tuesday. Put a little sticker here that you can write on, and you can always write on the back. We backed it with the graph index card. This was so fun to make. I love making these little, I love making cookbook journals. So, yeah, this is another page where we have a side tuck here. You can see all the kitchen related, the canisters here, and little cupcakes. This is a little card we decorated together, a little divider index card. D divide, you know, index divider card with a little tab there and a piece of the same type of scrapbook paper that can be written on the back. Here's a little um, red envelope I put in here that I thought was so uh, pretty and in here I put the tag oh this is a drilling card that we made together this has a blue index card on the back and this little pocket there on this is a piece of uh, this page was made out of a page from a Better Homes and Gardens cookbook puts a blue Rick rack on this side, a little divider card here. This was a little booklet, a little cook recipe booklet I had. This was the back cover of it, the actual cover, and I took a page from it, and the pages were kind of thin and, you know, getting brittle, so I glued it down, so it made a nice sturdy, now it's a nice sturdy page. Added the red Rick rack, and this is a little, um, kind of like a, bookmark for cookbooks and it has a little piece right here that you little notch you kind of hang over Let's see where did I have it I think I had it on this side you hang it over on your page and then you can write about that recipe on that page right uh, so that was cute and it's a cute little <laughs> image on there too so that that I put in there and then here's a page and I added this little this is some of the same homespun ribbon that I used here in the pocket so I put some there as a decoration a little trim and then this is a little divider card some uh, this is actually a page from a cookbook it's from a gooseberry berry patch cookbook and it just had lines for writing so that was neat this is another the other half of that better homes and gardens page and there's some more of that homespun 
ribbon, a pocket here where I added a little apron, pink apron sticker. In this pocket, I have another recipe card here. And then uh, this is one we made together on another divider card with a little mixer, the scrapbook paper that had the mixers on it, and we put a family favorite. And all these can be written on the other side. I always leave them blank on the back. Here I've just, I did clip in a few things so that, you know, I didn't want to glue everything down so that you can get this or whoever gets this can do what they want and put things where they want. You know what I mean? I didn't want to be the one to choose where everything goes, but it really does look pretty on this page, doesn't it? This pink doily. This is one I just got um, from, in a package from Crystal and Jovi. Isn't it one of the sprayed ones? Isn't it pretty? pink and it went so well with this page <laughs> I had to put it in here here's a little binder clip a pink one to match everything so and this is the envelope we had in here I did decorate it with a little game card that I have a little set of game cards that have um, kitchen and related things on them this one had salt and pepper so I just glued that down there's a little decoration in here we have a drawing card and that little envelope can be further decorated if you want to decorate the back. Here is a recipe card. A this is a page of this is the uh, scrapbook paper with the ants, and I did uh, I just clipped this little this is a little um, piece I cut out from a magazine, and it's actually a uh, icicle pop wrapper picture. It was in a magazine, and I thought it was so cute, and it looked uh, you know real vintagey, so I cut it out. But I, I was going to glue it down here. That let me. Let me just clip it here so that whoever gets this can choose where they want it. And there's a little spiral paper clip there holding it on, a little yellow one. And then here's a little divider page where I have an actual handwritten recipe. Uh, it doesn't have a date or anything on it, but it's an old you know, index card with a handwritten recipe. And here's one of my new little teardrop um, paper clips there. Aren't they pretty? They're so pretty, I love those. So glad they got them for me. And then here's a little page with a, you know, a little side pocket. And this is the, we were making the uh, cards together one day, the recipe cards. And this is the one, one of the one, I think I made two pizza cards, but here's one with pizza on it that I was talking about making. I didn't get it finished during the video and said I would finish it later. That's on green uh, index card. And it has, I put a little tab up here that was on the stickers and it were, there were two pieces. So I glued them together on here as a tab and that that turned out super cute i really like that that little tab and this is a page for my 2006 scrapbook calendar it has a watermelon on it here i clipped on it with another one of those little teardrop paper clips uh just as a cherry note paper that i have in my recipe stash oh actually two of them two of those and that you know had to put it in here it has cherries on it right <laughs> Yeah, that's such a cute little motif for um, cookbook journals, isn't it? This is a page from the Better Homes and Gardens uh, cookbook. Another scrapbook paper page here. And then a divider card index. I mean, um, scrapbook paper with a pocket here. Uh, this is the popcorn bag. This is a piece of the popcorn bag that was actually kind of like a scrap. And I made a little drawing card out of it. Uh, and we put this little lady on here. And we put on here, we did this one together, best uh, spot in the park. And then it can be written on on the back. And here on this little pocket, this was also in my magazine clippings, a little uh, good housekeeping seal I had cut out of a magazine. It was just on one of the pages. And I cut it out. So I put it right there as a decoration, a little good housekeeping seal up just i just glued that down there it's just a piece of magazine page and then here's the little page from my depression glass book that we cut out together and i clipped on here i found this in that magazine uh the magazine pieces too it's a little um flap from a cracker jack box so it says cracker jacks the original on there and again i was going to glue it down i thought no i don't want to glue everything down i want whoever gets this to have the fun, that's the idea, right? So there's the scrapbook paper with the cherries. This is um, this was from the recipe scrapbook that I had picked up at a thrift store. And so that's a nice writing page or gluing page. And more scrapbook paper. 
this is like some like some stationery I found and it was gingham this gingham frame I thought it was so cute it has lines on here this side is a blank but isn't that nice for writing this is a fold out page here this is a little uh, index like card divider page or you know divider and I just decorated it with this little piece here and I put some rickrack on there scrapbook paper there's a pocket here. This is uh, actually from a scrapbook paper. I found a couple, two or three of those, you know, through the years, uh, scrapbook paper, uh, you know, notebooks that were never used at the thrift store. So I think this was either from there or another stationary pack, but it has this red border. I made a little pocket down here and put the cheer cheerful sticker. These are some pieces we made in um, Tag Tuesday and the recipe card. Uh, videos that I did with you all so this is one of them with the ants and the rickrack and this is the other one with the little pie it says oh hello there so those came out cute right and then let's see what else we got lots of pages in here I put as many as I thought I could you know without overstuffing it so there's plenty of room for you to add. you can add pages because this is you know open up and put them in put them in you know, rearrange whatever you want to do. So this is the other side, um, actually the front of that little recipe book I was talking about and where I used the back cover. This is the front cover. And I, again, put, it was, this is the name of it, uh, where you can see it there. And then this was the title page and I glued it down on the inside here with some red rickrack scrapbook paper here with a little side tuck. This is another pizza uh, <laughs> drilling card. I thought that these are so cute. I love these. And here's the uh, index card on this side. And then here's another one of those little tabs. Isn't it cute? It's so adorable. I wish there were only a couple on that, on that sticker page, but uh, they're so cute. I wish there was a lot of those. And here's another page from the Depression Glass book. And then a little pocket here. This was a magazine piece from my stash of uh, kitcheny and recipe type magazine cutouts that I've cut out through the years. This one had um, the words test kitchen. So I put it right there as a decoration, a little fun thing, right? And then there's two cards in here. We did these together, a uh, tag and a little recipe. I think we did this on the recipe card day. And you know, these can all be written on the back, super fun. And then let's see, I love the gingham. And then here's one of those pages fold out uh, their homes and gardens here's some more ant paper and this is a little this is a little label and it's actually a sticker too and so you can peel this paper I believe this paper peels off the back and you can uh, you know probably want to add some extra glue on there because this has been around for a good while I got it from a thrift store of course and uh, it has a little fruits on there and so real pretty little something to put somewhere you make a tuck spot or you can make it up tuck or there's another one of my teardrop paper clips here's a paper um, popcorn bag with a popcorn um drilling card in and on in in it graph uh index card with the other piece of the popcorn bag right here i put the sticker that says love it so you can that's uh there's lots of room to store things in these popcorn bags for you know, if you need to throw some things in here while you're waiting to have time to get to it and, you know, rearrange it and glue it down and whatever you want to do later, you can always throw it, throw it all in the popcorn bags. There's two of them, you know, we already, we already passed one somewhere and uh, wherever it is and, uh, you know, get to it later or just put extra pieces in, in there that you want to use in here. That's what I do with my journals. And then, so next page, another cherry page. Here is, um, oh, this is a recipe card that we made together. I'm trying to see if it, <laughs> what it does here. It's just got this pretty paper. This is a yellow and white striped index card with some little rickrack there. This is uh, the fold up recipe card we made with a piece from a cookbook. We put the rickrack, oh, this is the, um, whatchamacallit, cards here with the track <laughs> what did I call that I don't remember now and then uh, this is the ant little tag we made isn't this one a pretty I love the black and white with these bright colors that's so pretty and that's that tat track 
cards too. They're like index card with tracks. And here's the back cover with another pocket. I never say never and I never say always. Grace Kelly by Grace Kelly. Here's a little hot dog recipe book that I put in here. Very retro or very vintage. And so that's in there. And let me show you. So that's the journal. So cute. This will be in my Etsy when you see this video. And uh, I, was, I was getting ready to get a, a goodie bag together. I was like, I usually put everything in a paper bag, right? But I didn't have any cookbook-related paper bags. <laughs> so I was like, let me see what I can, you know, get together here. And I looked around at my stuff and found this. Um, these are two of the dividers from uh, Better Homes and Gardens. And so I made a little envelope, or actually kind of a good size envelope here. You can see the picture from the divider, the, the food. And I used two dividers, so I put, so, you know, cut them and sewed them together. And so I have a little flap here with this little, un, you know, this is just some baker's twine that you unwind. So here's the tab from the divider page. I wanted to make sure I used one on the flap here. So this is one. This is how I made it. This is one divider here. Then I took another divider and cut it down to make this piece and then sewed them all together all the way around. I didn't have to sew up here but I sewed up here for a decoration. And then um, see here's the holes here and holes here from the cookbook. I didn't cut them off. <laughs> I just had some fun uh, sewing this together. Uh, I want to make some more of these. I never did this before and I, th I think it's really cute. So in here is where I put all the goodies. I went through a lot of my stash and just pulled out things I thought somebody would like, you know, to have fun with. And there's a lot here. So you've got a little uh, drilling spot here with a cupcake. This is a rubber stamp that I have made from an index card. I'm going to try to go through this quick because I'm going to run out of time here in a few minutes. A recipe. There's a couple of recipes from this. Oh, there's another one here. Oh, here's four. <laughs> yeah, I put as much as I could in here, really. I mean, I, I was like, I had to stop because it was getting too bulky and I wasn't going to be able to fold it over, if you know what I mean. Here's a pretty little one. with. The, I love the colors on this one. I don't know how old this is. It doesn't have a date on it. But it's got a hole here where it was bound at one time, probably. But I just love the greens. It looks like 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 fifties or so, doesn't it? Oh, it's got some a plate here that looks like or a platter that looks like mid mid century modern. So that's probably got to be fifties. Some more index cards. I mean recipe cards here. Really cute. Uh, these are all like I said, all from from thrift stores. You know, nothing's printed in here. Uh, it's just all originals, things I've made or collected from thrift stores. This little envelope I made from a book page. Uh, it is, <laughs> I, I'm just laughing because I know I made this quite a while ago, but it's really, really cute. I just found it in my stash when I was putting this together. This is a coaster. Got some shrimps and a lemon there. This is our recipe card. We've got a little rooster there. I love these um, kitchen related notepads. So I put quite a few papers in here from notepads. This says guest list menu, milk and cookies, lemons, farm to table. Uh, these are all these are all from Dollar Tree. But whenever I saw them, I like whenever I saw any cookbook related or recipe like food related ones, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm buying way too many of these, but I love them, so I'm gonna I'm gonna bring them home. Uh, these have the mixer and the little. Uh, you know, kitchen related utensils there. Recipe card. Okay. Let's see, this is some pages from a, I think this is a 50s cookbook, a little children's cookbook that I had uh, your infamous jello mold there and cheese uh, sandwich or something. I'm a cheese sandwich. But here's a little boy from that one. Little kids uh, pictures from that very retro. Uh, cookbook and then some recipe cards these little library recipe cards I have so many of these I see I put a lot in here for those and yeah I put would have put more if I could fit them more in the envelope but here these are two pages I just think these are so pretty these are from gooseberry berry patch books but I love the a lot of the gooseberry patch aren't quite vintage yet they're like early 2000s 
And there's some that are vintage, but um, I just love the look of those Gooseberry Patch uh, cookbooks. So I usually always, almost always pick them up when I see them at the thrift store. And I have a lot of recipes from estate sales. So these are just some old clippings, like this is a newspaper clipping. You can see at one time it was taped in somewhere. Here's the old tape on there. This is another one. You can tell it's all browned and everything. So that's from, this is a prize winning recipe. And it's from, a, you know, old newspaper clipping. Here is a little uh, recipe from something, like one that was on a can or something, you know, one of these little fold up ones. I don't know if I can even open it. But this was in, you know, a bag of recipes that I got from an estate sale. Isn't that cute? <laughs> so yeah, I put that in there. And let's see, this one's cool because it has the green. And it's taco tortilla sandwich. It's tacos, it says. And, oh, it's a postcard. Oh, look at that. I didn't realize. That. That's awesome. Wow, how cool. <laughs> and this is our, another handwritten recipe. Very pretty handwriting on this green or whatever color this is, light blue uh, paper. So that is everything that is in this fun envelope. And uh, yeah, this was a lot of fun. And I'll be on to my next project, so stay tuned. And I will see you all in my next video. I hope you have a great weekend. And I will see you. Let's see if I can get this back in here now. See how I'm talking about how it was hard to fold. Now I have to, I have to rearrange this so I don't bend this in the wrong way. But see what I mean? I stuffed as much as I could in there. And that was it. I had to stop. So... Anyway, thanks guys. Have a great weekend and I'll see you next time. Happy crafting.